Hey guys, this is John from Walkthrough Code. So this is the first video in our eight video series about the Angular concepts. Right now, uh, I shouldn't say Angular, AngularJS 1.6 or 1.6.x specifically in this case. Um, so we have a blink index page. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to use a snippet here since I don't feel like typing everything out. This is just going to include simple bootstrap, um, things to that effect. We're just going to put Angular app here. Um, and let's go grab the Angular CDN. Um, so we can easily type in Angular, Angular CDN. Uh, and then we'll go to cdnjs.com for this. And this should bring up 1.6.1, up which is perfect. Uh, and then we are going to find angular.js. Um, for production and stuff, I use angular.min.js, but uh, in this case, uh, just because I want to be able to read the errors, I'm just going to um, use the angular.js instead. So we'll use our script source and just copy paste that in. Um, we notice that we don't have our app.js, so we'll also add that. That will leave you an error that you won't forget after a few times. Um, so now we need to tell we need to tell the index page exactly where our um, app is. So, and basically to do that, we're just going to put it in the HTML tag. Some people say put it in the body. Some people say put it in the HTML. I'm inclined to put it into the HTML. It's never broken for me that way. And I don't really plan on using this as anything other than an Angular app. So I'm just going to put it up here. Um, we'll start by saying first Angular App. And this is the name of our app according to Angular right now. Um, the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, just do some preps for the next lesson. Um, we're going to say ng controller, and we're going to give it the scope of the whole body. We're only going to have uh, one controller here for now. We'll probably change that um, when we use components and, thing, and routers and things like that. But until now, we'll just do this and we'll call this main control. All right, so now we're almost done with the video. So let's go ahead and just kind of prove that we have this Angular app up and running. So we're gonna do double curly brackets. This will take it, um, this will take and execute code uh, for us. Um, so we can just say the sky is truly blue. So if we put this in here, uh, 2 is greater than 1, we will see when we run this that this should evaluate just fine. So if we open index.html, wait, we're not in there yet. Oh, we have to go into 0. Um, open index.html. And there's something wrong. Oh, you know what? We have to register it. So let's go over to app.js and say var app equals angular.module. And then this takes two parameters, the name of the app first. What do we call it? First angular app. And then it takes a set of array of a set of square brackets. And this has to do with dependency injection. We will go over that as time or as videos progress. But for now, let's go back over here and control with main control is not registered. OK, so we have to register that. So uh, app dot uh, controller main control. And this takes a callback function. Um, that. That is it. So truly, <laughs> truly blue. So now we see that this is working. Our Angular app is fully up and functional. And in the next video, we are going to start talking about data binding. So uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, totally leave them in the comments area below. Uh, if you want to get a hold of me on social media, uh, you can find me at Twitter at John A2. Awesome. Uh, so see you in the next video.